Another thing we want to pay attention to when we're trying to identify entities is multi-valued attributes. So if we have an entity that has more than one of an item, then that becomes a candidate for being an entity of itself, um, creating its own. This has to do with um, normalization, right? That we don't want to have repeated values in a in a table, and so and so we want to look for this concept because we'll pull that out and have it be its own entity in the case that it's multi-valued. So if we go back through here, notice when we went through here the first time, we didn't pay much attention to the attributes because we're not going to be using them now. But this would be a time for us to go back and look at the attributes that um, that, that entities are going to have so we can identify these multi-valued attributes. So uh, if we here in this section this describes what up here we said all users have a unique ID so that's not multi-valued that will be a single thing and it tells a little bit about them and then what they can do. In this next paragraph it talks about the user we're going to have several values first name last name those are going to be single values uh, a password for authentication and one or more phone numbers and right here we see even the terminology that identifies this multi-valued um, attribute so it, they're going to have be able to have more than one phone number and and so this becomes something then we're going to now identify as an entity that we want to include in our diagram oops not the one or more we want to do it to the phone number there you go so phone numbers become it and for students they also keep track of major that's going to be single um, GPA and class rank credits and grades uh, instructors have a department code each course has a department code, a course number, a title, a description, a number of credits. And here we have one or more, again, prerequisite courses. So here we see this idea, okay, so this is a, what is a prerequisite course? So this may in fact be then something that we need to look at as an entity. A single offering, of a course. So this is talking about exception, uh, I mean a section. So there are, can be more than one of them that go with the course. Each section has a course, a semester, a location, an instructor, a section number. Uh, okay, and none of those look multi-valued. When a student registers um, this doesn't have attributes in here. It's more about what kind of constraints are on there. And a grade is related to a specific student and section. Okay, so it looks like we picked up our multi-valued attributes that we need to include in our list of entities.